Good morning, YouTubers. It's about quarter after twelve. Um, and I've been up for about 45 minutes, and I got my bulletproof coffee, and uh, had a little chat with Petey, and little hogging. <laughs> I was just going to say, don't forget the hogs. <laughs> and, um, Everybody seems to be in their place. Pharaoh is keeping an eye on the world, making sure it's safe. If there are any squirrels or neighboring dogs or anything, he will be sure to alert us. Curly is no doubt laying, yep, that's what I thought, laying next to Dad. Good thing you got a big chair. Yeah, it's a good thing you got a big chair with under a blanket probably, because that's what he always does. Sleepy is in his usual spot ruining Casey's chair. The back pillow on Casey's chair. I don't know, maybe I can run that through the dryer with, what do they say, tennis shoes? Tennis rackets? <laughs> Volleyballs. <laughs> Volleyballs. Yeah, to puff it up. Bowling balls. <laughs> Volleyballs. <laughs> yeah, somehow puff that up before she comes tomorrow. <laughs> All is well with the birds whose cages, as soon as I finish this coffee, are going to get cleaned and they're going to come out to play and the usual stuff. They all seem a little um, tired today. Usually they're up chattering at this time, but not today. So I'm guessing maybe because it's gray and cold. Um, we are under a winter weather advisory. Imagine that. Snow and cold in January in northern Michigan. I can see why they send us an advisory. Today's advisory says S accumulating snow will overspread the area between 2 and 5 p.m. with a brief period of heavier snow from late afternoon into early evening. Winds increasing southwest winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour with higher gusts as high as 45 miles an hour. But that's along Lake Michigan, which I'm a good hour and a half or two hours away from. I don't know why they're sending it for our county. Widespread blowing and drifting snow from mid-afternoon to early evening with whiteout conditions possible. Uh, two to three inches of snow. Seriously, two to three inches of snow merits a wa winter weather warning. See, today I plan to clean cages. I got some ground beef out to make something for dinner, but I don't know what yet. I'm thinking along the lines of spaghetti. We have Dreamfields for Pete. Dreamfields has been shown by tons of people to raise blood sugar just the same as regular pasta. Um, and so my husband eats it. Not that I want his blood sugar raised, but he likes his real spaghetti. And I will have my um, zoodles, my zucchini noodles that I make with my little um, spiral slicer that Casey got me for Christmas. So I guess that's pretty much it. And I will be drinking tea. I see I got a lot of comments on the tea experiment, and I will be replying to all of those this morning yet. Um, I, no, it's too late. It's already 20 after 12. <laughs> I can't do it this morning. I will do it this afternoon. So, um, because I got some really cool comments. And I'm pretty excited about this whole tea thing. So, I think it's just scratching the surface. Alrighty then. I will see you guys later. Hi, YouTubers. This is my breakfast today. Um, well, it's lunch. It's like probably 1.30 in the afternoon, I don't know. Oh, it's 2.30, what do you know? Anyway, this is obviously bacon, and I gave my husband the crispiest pieces because I want to, I can't chew anything hard, but anyway, um, and this is a hash brown patty, but it's not potatoes. It is, I, I got this recipe online, I will put the link below, and, um, it's made with, I didn't follow the recipe exactly, I never do, but it's made with um, cabbage, 
shredded cabbage, finely chopped onion, I used green cabbage, the original recipe was for red, finely chopped onion, which I used onion because I didn't have any leeks or green onions, which is what the recipe called for, but we are onion lovers here, so I don't care, I mean, it's best, <laughs> an egg, and uh, seasoning, and that's it, so um, I have already tasted the other the first batch that I gave my husband and he is enjoying. He loves them, he said. And I'm about to sit down and eat mine. And I might just put a big plop of sour cream on mine to add more fat. I fried these in the bacon fat. But, I, you know, I cooked the bacon. Fried those in bacon fat. And um, I will probably add a plop of sour cream on top. But doesn't that look good? Hi, guys. Snowing. Snowing hard. Really big flakes. It's not like blizzardy yet, but it's supposed to get there. We're supposed to have like an inch of snow per hour for another few hours, so I am excited. Obviously, I love the snow. Sitting here watching it, we already have probably a foot on the ground, and I think we're expecting five more. But it's coming down good, and that makes me happy. Pete and I are about to have some of our tea. Sorry, Stefan, I'm still going to call it tea. <laughs> but uh, we're about to have some of our tea, and um, rather than a cup of coffee, I'm just about to make it now, but I wanted to show you the snow. It's so pretty. <laughs> So this is my supper. Today was a very uneventful day. I didn't record much at all. Didn't do much at all. Let alone record much. But anyway, so for what it's worth, here's my supper. Which is um, zoodles and turkey. Zoodles being zucchini noodles. I use a spiral slicer to make. Zoodles and turkey cooked with onion, garlic, and chili powder. And in bacon fat and butter topped with shredded cheddar cheese and a bit more than generous dollop of full fat sour cream. So that's my supper. It's about 7.30 and I will be eating. And that is 
Well, that's it for right now. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so I guess I'm done vlogging for the day. Um, Petey's out doing the dishes from dinner and I'm about to go feed my birds. Today was a rather uneventful day. In fact, I never even got dressed. Um, hope my hair looks okay. <laughs> I did comb it earlier, but... Um, so it was kind of uneventful. Tomorrow Casey and Leland are coming for a couple days, so there will be more to vlog about, and we're probably going to the store tomorrow, so I'll get out of the house for the first time in, well, it'll be eight days, and I'll be able to look and see how things are looking out there. I don't know how much snow we ended up getting because it got dark. Um, there was probably a couple inches before it got dark, so I don't know what it looks like now. Um, here's what I see. Darkness and reflection back into the house. <laughs> so, um, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, hope everybody has a blessed Friday, and I'll see you then. Bye.